Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've got an unboxing today that is a little bit different. Um, there are many unboxings of this on YouTube, but this is a first time for me. So this is a diamond painting kit club. Now, I did want to give it a go um, because it is an option for um, people anywhere in the world and they do ship everywhere um, and yeah I just thought it would be fun to get a few months worth of these and to sort of see what stuff that you get so this is from a company called Easy Win um, and say so they do a few different types of diamond painting kits there are a few different levels um, the one I have gone for is the basic level so it's called the member box now the first box worked out at $36.99 for me um, I ordered it it took about six or seven weeks for the first one to get to me so while they have skipped a month because they have had a very big backlog with um, COVID-19 so the June this is the May box um, the June box will not be coming like they've, they've not done the June box at all um, so it will be a little quite a bit longer before the next box gets to me but I thought we'll go for three months and see what it's like now they they all come in a box which actually is really nice so it's nice that you get everything in one box and um, I've gone for the basic level there's quite a few that I think do the masters box um, on YouTube but I wanted to try the, the basic one so that anybody you know can see what sort of stuff they can get with the smallest payment um they do also do boxes that are pure diamond painting boxes whereas this one i think the standard that comes with this let me just have i'm not sure if i've got the information up okay let's have a look at what the it says that you get in this box so, sorry, I'm just pulling up the details of a member box. Okay, so a member box, um, the normal price is $49.99. Now, of course, that will convert to whatever your country is. You get $5 off for the first box. Uh, and as I say, that cost me £36.99. I will let you know when I open the next one what you get. But you get... Uh, in the members box you get two large diamond painting kits now when they say large they actually mean 30 by 40 um, and you get $50 worth of mystery DIY crafts so I think they give you other sort of stuff they then do an artist box which is an extra $9 and they do a master box which is actually just under $90 um, as well as pure DP boxes. Um, you get to pick whether you want square or round or be surprised and you also get to pick themes for your paintings. So you get two themes to choose from. Um, the first theme that I chose was abstract. I do like working on abstract ones, I think they can be funky. Uh, but I did say surprise me on the second one. Um, while there is a few that I would have been happy choosing, um, for the purposes of these videos, I wanted to see what sort of variety that we get. So, let's get in the box. So, this is this month's. Oh, I can already see something that I already have. Oh well, that's the joys of it, isn't it? So, uh, dear Rebecca, we're pleased to present you with your May box of diamond painting and craft goodies and it says what is in your member box so there's a four fridge magnet designs to enjoy um 
got an itch to scratch so apparently I can shake off the lockdown blues and scrape and etch the sketching area and um, delight your loved one with your light ornament and then my diamond painting kits have been chosen exactly for me okay so we have two paintings in there we then have a light magnets and something that is not diamond painting at all so it can be quite interesting to see what you can get um, as, as another craft if you're a crafter there may be many that you like so we have a toolkit which is a small white boat pen with a three or a four placer i think what looks like a 10 placer and some tweezers uh, it does have the foam squashy as well this one for some reason doesn't have wax but this one has a big amount of wax so we collect more toolkits so we have um, two diamond paintings which already I'm looking at this and I'm seeing a cat and I'm seeing a dragon slayer I'm not seeing anything that is random or abstract I don't know whether they class that cat as abstract I wouldn't um, but we'll see I will get in contact with them uh, we have two lots of diamonds and then we have the other things so first things first we have a light um, I do like these lights because I already have one um, now I did notice because other people of course get their box quicker than me um, and post up details of it uh, that the the light has varied between boxes um, so I'm guess it's pure pure look of the drawer that I happen to have got exactly the same one that I've already done but that's what happens when you're forever buying diamond painting things um, then we have magnets so let's have a look at the magnet can't quite tell what designs these are. So we have a koala bear. We have, mm, what is that? Is it supposed to be a big llama? It's like, a, I don't know, it's a cartoony type, isn't it? Maybe a donkey. Uh, we have an elephant. And then we have a pig with a, with a dollar going into it. And they're all magnets. So they're just one-sided. And then we have the diamonds and we have another toolkit but a very basic toolkit for that one let's have a quick look at some of the colors that we get in these magnets sorry this may make it longer okay so special shapes we've got some big pink ones oh we've got some gold ones uh, oh we've got some sticky eyes some goggly eyes uh, we've got some bigger ones in black got some teardrops in like iridescent with blue we've got two big um, teardrops and then we have small diamonds in black with a scattering of pink <laughs> um, yellow pink blue orange and hot pink so they look like they'll be fun to do I will enjoy doing them so let's get all those bits back in there so that I know what goes with what so they'll be fun to do that will be fun to do I've just done it before um, and then for the other craft we get scratch postcards now these will actually be really fun if my kids don't pinch them off me uh, so it's a pack of two uh, scratch off and make your night so there's three different buildings three different places um, and you get the wooden stylus to scratch off with I wonder which ones we've got or I've got we've got I've got which ones have we got let's have a look oh it's got a sticker sticker thing so I'm going to cut that with a knife because they never peel off properly do they so we have a Paris 
So I have Paris. And then we've got more packaging to find what my second one is. Is it two or is it four? So we've got Paris. We've got London. And is that India? And New York. Oh, so we do actually get all four. I thought we got two. Yeah, two scratch postcard. Unless it's different variants. Oh no, it does say contents, postcards, four sheets. Don't know where the two came from. So we do have all of these, which of course when you scratch off, you'll get the colour. So that will be fun to do as a different kind of project. Okay, and then we've got the diamond paintings. So I don't know whether to open these fully, um, just because I think I do want to question the themes. So we have that one, which I wouldn't say is abstract. Maybe other people disagree. I would say that is a pet one, not an abstract one. Um, and then we have this one, which looks to be, you know, like fairy tale one. So I, it looks to me like I have an animal one and a fairy tale one. And one of those is fine, but I shouldn't have two of them. But I say, we'll see what the company says. Um, they each have 35 colours. They look very much like the Huacan canvases. Um, I think we need to open one to see. Let's go for this one. Because while I am going to query this with them, I don't think they're going to want me to post it back. And if they are, it shouldn't matter which one I post back. So I'm going to open this one because it's the busier image. I would like to see how this looks on a 30 by 40. And I also want to check if the canvas size is true and what the canvas quality looks like. But it's looking very similar to Huacan for me. I don't know if everybody else thinks the same. It's, it's got their sort of ledger printing and I know they do manufacture for a lot of companies. So, very tightly woven as well, which is also very Huacan. Of course, it's printed Easy Win because that's the company that I bought it from. But I say, I know a lot of companies do use Huacan to print theirs for them. It's got three sections and it is the double sided tape. The canvas itself does look very nice. I think this will work in a 30 by 40. So while the canvas is orientated this way, the picture is the other way. So let's flatten these down and peel back from the other side so that we can see the interesting part at the top. And of course it never flattens down the way you want it to. most of it done. So let's pull it down from this end so that you can all see the image. So the canvas, the, the print and the quality is very clear which was always the same with Huracan anyway. So it'll be interesting to see what the diamonds are like because I know they have had problems in the past but they may have fixed them. See I think that looks nice. I think that'll be quite fun to do. It looks very confetti, but I don't mind confetti, especially if I've done something that's completely, um, if I've done something that's very solid recently. But I think that works as a 30 by 40. So let's get this down and I'm gonna have a look at the sizing and see if it is a true 30 by 40. So let me find my tape measure. So I'm just going up to where the actual design is. Okay, so it's 39 across and it's 29 and a smidge, maybe 29 and a half down. 
so they're very generous with their rounding um, but it definitely isn't the full canvas size which is normal when it's a double sided tape I don't know what it is the difference between those that are a double sided tape and those that are poured glue and the sizing from those companies and then is this the diamonds for this one yeah so we have a code here CTS3428 and that's what matches the code on this design um, and yeah they're all bagged have we got any 310 in this picture yes we do okay so there's a lot of 310 in this picture so let's have a look at the quality of the 310 that's not 310 that's 310 okay so it's still in the bag but normally if you have a load of trash you can tend to see it all um, hanging about in the corners of the baggies I'm not seeing that so that's a good sign um, got the odd round one in there I am seeing a couple of little noggin parts on the side of a couple of diamonds but whether that will have an impact doesn't come up clear until you actually work on it um, but these are definitely the same labels as who I can tend to use so I would have thought you know the manufacturer it, it may be that Huacan manufactures these, it may be that these manufacture for Huacan, I don't know. Um, but it does look as though the manufacturer is the same. You do get paper with it, so that's good for an inventory sheet. And you get instructions. Uh, and then they try and sell you their stretcher canvas bars. But yeah, instructions for diamond painting, symbols and numbers on an inventory sheet along by the quantity but it is done by weight so really the main thing to check is that you have 35 colours in it more than um, that you have every every number being right there's no counting to do apart from 1 to 35 and that's the cat one which say may be classed as abstract but I'm not feeling that's abstract but I'll let you guys know on um, my Facebook group or the end of this video if the company gets back to me quickly um, I'll let you know what they say but overall considering you get two 30 by 40 canvases I've got fridge magnets I've got a light and I've got something different along with the excitement of opening something that is different i'm i'm pretty pleased with with the selection that you get i don't know if i would keep it up really long term especially when uh, you know you could end up with duplicates <laughs> it's all right i know a couple of people that have had babies they can both have a night light um but overall i say i'm happy i've got a couple of diamond painting projects i've got a couple of diamond paintings 30 by 40 i've got something else to do i could see this keeping me busy for a month until the next one turned up um but yeah i thought it would be interesting to see sort of the options out there for people if they want to do the diamond painting as a hobby you know for the process not necessarily for what the picture is and whether they can frame it and where it would go um but they just enjoy the excitement of receiving something um and enjoy the process of doing it and then they can decide what they want to do it afterwards i'm i'm pretty happy with it um maybe it's because it's a cat and i'm not a cat person because i'm allergic um maybe <laughs> Maybe it's because of that, but I expected it to be more of a random image um, on that front. But I say, we'll see what they say. But overall, I think it's not bad value for money. Um, we'll give a couple of months worth a go as well um, before I make the decision as to whether I want the surprises to keep coming. Um, but yeah, this option is out there for you all. 
if you are looking for something a little bit different. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.